Hello, this is Nick, also known as Mr. Blend 5000. Alright, recording the screen. I shall defeat you. This is my fourth time doing this video. <sighs> so, let's do this. I have gotten two requests. One, to make guns do something to your enemy, aka kill them. And two, to make the enemies have some sort of intelligence, I suppose, which I translate to be, they shall follow you around and try to kill you. So, let's try this again, shall we? Um, this is my setup from the last attempt. As you can see, I have a generic plane. I'm actually going to change the color because having everything the same color is kind of annoying. So, we're going to have our monkey also known as Suzanne, and we have our cube, also known as cube. This is not the default cube, because the default cube got deleted after my first video, because if nothing works, I blame it on the default cube. Bwaha, ha ha, ha 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 ha. Alright, I gotta calm down here, I just gotta calm down. Um, so first things we want to do is, in our game logic panel, you're gonna want to make your object have physics so you're gonna have this menu I've already done it but you're gonna select dynamic and don't change anything and then you're gonna click add property and just name it whatever you want mine's one two three for the cube and then these are just basic commands for forward backwards left right well there's no backwards just forward left and right that's all you need for the cube you can leave him alone now he can just chill over there. The monkey is what we want to focus on. Same thing, give it some dynamic physics and give it a property. Mine's 3, 2, 1. Simple, simple. And I'm just going to delete these so I can walk through with you guys exactly what to do. Um, so essentially the logic we're looking at here is, well, when I get close to this thing, this thing's going to kill me. That is the logic and that is what we're using. So, how does this work? Well, exactly like I said, when this thing gets near this thing, and what is this thing? This thing is property 1, 2, 3. So when property 1, 2, 3 gets close to this thing, uh, give, give it like a distance value of 10, um, what do we want this to do? Well, we want it to move towards our guy, and, 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 just add a new one, connect to the same thing, go to edit object, object, cube. Wow, I have caps lock on. Good job, Mr. Blend 5000. Um, and it's just going to track to it. And instead of add object, we want track. <laughs> oh, I'm a little scatterbrained. Um, so let's hit our P key. Come on, computer. And, you know, dipping around, ripping and dipping like a boss like a boss. That's right, I said it. I said it. I said it on my YouTube channel. I said it. And we, as you see, when we get too close, it's gonna try and drive itself into the ground. Right. I made it move in the wrong direction. Yeah, yoink. That's the Z. No wonder. Ah, get back here. Get back here. I did this backwards, but I caught you. Waha. Um, positive Y. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a little out of it now. This is my fourth time doing the exact same thing. It gets a little annoying. But I I think I fixed my problem. Let's try this again. Oh, no. Don't go, go get us. Hey. Oh, I got I got to calm down here, just gonna simmer down, I'm getting a little a little too crazy here, but yeah, you can see the enemy fall, starts following us once we get too close, but once we go out of its distance, nah, 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 <laughs> it can't get us because it doesn't know where we are um, so that's the basic idea on how to get things to follow you, of course if you just want to be following you all the time you change the this near thing, you just change to always and if you wanted it to shoot at you after you uh, got too close to it, um, I'll just show you how to do that right now. Um, I gotta make this quick though, because I don't want to use up too many. 
I just don't want this whole thing to mess up again. Um, add your MD. You've seen my gun tutorial. You know what I mean. Um, we'll go into our second. If you haven't seen my gun tutorial, you should watch that before trying to do this. Um, add a UV sphere. Make it really tiny. Well, small, I suppose. Um, give it some basic physics. Um, turn into a ghost. Um, have this thing. Add, add, add. Connect the dots. Um, edit object. Add object. Um, sphere, I think it was. Sphere, yes, sphere. I think so. I hope so. Bang! I was right. I was right on. Bang! Right in there. All right. So when this thing gets close to this guy, we want this guy to shoot him by using the empty. So what can we do? We can say um, using all this, just add another one. And what we want to do is we want this guy to send a message to the empty and so it's going to broadcast that message to any object named empty and so when this thing receives the message uh, you don't have to change that because we didn't specify um, a subject this thing should shoot and it'll be fantastic so let's see if that actually works I, I hope it works because yay shooting downwards but you get the point Ah, uh, you get the point. Um, it's going to shoot it in whatever direction you tell it to shoot. You can probably fix that to make it a legitimate direction. And then you can just have the Z, this this thing parent, this thing right here. I actually pointed at the screen with my finger. Wow. Um, this thing parented to this so that when this thing moves around, this thing will move with it. And as for what happens when you get shot or you shoot an enemy, that will be in my next tutorial, which I will probably be doing in about 10 minutes. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will video to you all later. Oh, frig, I have to press Alt then F10, maybe? Oh, no, I have to go. Eh, eh.